and let's meet our wonderful Toyota opening drive panel. Sports agent Darren Heitner, CEO of Dynasty Athlete Representation and sports attorney Rick Davis. Thank you both for joining me. Jess would clinch it with a field goal. Nick Falk, though, of course, missed one earlier. That's not even going to be a case now because Green is taking it home. Touchdown, New York. Yeah, based on that play, the Final Four is set in the NFL playoffs. Tomorrow, the Jets and the Steelers for the AFC Championship and the Packers and the Bears for the NFC title. The winners meet in Super Bowl 45 in two weeks at Cowboy Stadium. The Dolphins played all four teams this season, including the Jets twice. The Finns were two and three, beating the Jets and the Packers. They would have beaten the Steelers if not for a controversial call late in the game. Hey guys, let's start with the AFC Championship tomorrow, 6.30 on CBS 12. What did you learn about Ben Roethlisberger and Mark Sanchez watching them last week and against the Dolphins, guys? The two quarterbacks are dissimilar and at different stages of, the, of their career. Ben Roethlisberger had two touchdowns and above 100 passer rating against the Dolphins during the season and against the Ravens last week. Meanwhile, Sanchez looked good last week but had a passer rating of about 65 against the Colts defense and 45 against the Dolphins in their second game against the Dolphins during the regular season. I want the ball in the hands of Ben Roethlisberger at the end of the game. I can't say the same with Sanchez. Well, I think Roethlisberger, his track record speaks for itself. Uh, big guy, huge. He's like you've got a tight end playing quarterback. You can't knock him down. What to, to pass rush against him, you don't try to sack him. You try to just strip the ball, and that's what uh, has been effective against him. Sanchez is 4-1 and one in the playoffs. In two years, that's a great record. At the end of the game, he has made big plays, but I agree. I go with Roethlisberger if I've got to pick one of the two. Well, the bottom line, obviously, Roethlisberger proven track record in the playoffs. Sanchez a little more upside. Interesting matchup. In the NFC, the Dolphins able to slow down both Aaron Rodgers and Jay Cutler, but they looked great last week. Which quarterback has the advantage in this matchup, guys? Hey, Rick, I think Aaron Rodgers had probably the, if not the, one of the greatest games uh, in the playoffs ever last week. He was 31 for 36, just lit it up, had a great game. You know, and with, with Cutler, yeah, he's had offensive line problems all year. Uh, when he played the Packers this year, they played each other twice, twice. He had one touchdown pass, three interceptions, and was sacked nine times. Uh, I pick Rodgers, and the key for Cutler is he's got his offensive line's got to protect him. Yeah, let's share Rodgers. I, I always feel like that like Cutler is one interception away from being in the doghouse again. Now, he looked great against the Seahawks, but the Seahawks had the 25th best defense in the NFL. He's going up against the Packers with the second best defense. I think it's going to be a different story this week. Uh, wait, wait, didn't, uh, didn't Farva start for the Packers? Oh, no, 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 that was, that was a few a years ago. ago. Oh, yeah. That's I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. That's I can't what, remember that. I'm getting old. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Led by a pair of heavyweight AFC contests, the NFL had its most viewed divisional round ever. Four NFL divisional round games averaged 35.1 million viewers on Fox and CBS last weekend, up 6% from last year and up 21% from 2009. And this marks the highest average ever for the NFL's divisional round, topping the previous high of 34.2 million set in the 93-94 season. Dolphins hire Brian Dayball as their new offensive coordinator. He spent the last two seasons as the Browns' OC. Whether he'll also serve as Miami's quarterback coach remains a possibility. He replaces Dan Henning, who parted away with the team following last season. And under Dayball, the Browns' offense in 2010 was actually worse than the Dolphins. The Browns near the bottom of the league in most statistical categories, including total yards, passing yards, rushing yards, and points per game. The Dolphins were next to last in the AFC in points behind only the Browns. A Cleveland style on offense last season doesn't exactly mesh with the hopes of owner Stephen Ross, who wants to see a wide open offense. What's your take on Dayball, guys? I don't mind it. I, I actually like the hire. You look at the Browns last year, 5-11, and 11, but still, they were running the ball at a good consistency. They had uh, around 413 times rushing compared to 478 times passing. The run will open up the passing game. Look at what Dable did with Peyton Hillis. If he can do the same thing with Miami's core of running backs, well, then you'll get that wide-open offense that Ross is hoping for. You know, Rick, I think uh, the hiring of, of, of Dable may have been a kind of an indication of what went on down here during the offseason uh, with uh, looking uh, to hire Jim Harbaugh and uh, Tony Sperano kind of flapping and, uh, and being out there for a couple of weeks. Uh, 
I think they had a hard time finding somebody to take the job. I really do. I mean, this guy, the, the Browns offense uh, scored fewer points than the Dolphins did. Uh, and so I just don't know that he was the top choice, but I think they may have had a hard time finding somebody. Hey, the uh, league is littered with guys who have been unknowns and then became success stories That's after right. being coordinator. It also goes the other way, so we're obviously going to have to see. Chad Pennington will try to come back from a fourth surgery on his throwing shoulder, and Dable did coach Pennington in 2007. How would you guys assess the idea of Pennington as the Dolphins quarterback this next season? I don't think I'd go there, Rick. You know, in 2009, he was a starter, and he went out in the third game. In 2010, he was a backup, and in uh, week 10, he goes in and he gets hurt and he messes up his shoulder again. I think it's uh, his, his days as a quarterback, especially as a starting quarterback, I, I just don't, I wouldn't have him on the roster. Yeah, you can never rule anything out with the Dolphins, but I think it's a huge reach. Chad Pennington will not be the quarterback. He may be a quarterback and help with the new quarterbacks, the young new quarterbacks, learn the offense. I think that may be his position in the offense, but not as a starter day one. Dave